any concerns about, you know, you chatted briefly about it before, your rust in terms of football shape? Where do you feel like that's at? Um, You know, I feel like, I feel like uh, I've done a really good job, and the trainers and strength staff, they did, they put me in a really good position to be in great shape right now. I feel like I'm in the best shape I've been in a while. Um, you know, I'm, I'm heavier than I've been in a while, so that's good. Healthy, healthy heavy-wise. Uh, you know, I feel like I had a good camp, but I really just want to put the work that I did in August and September and uh, just, you know, continue building on that. What toe was it? Your right big toe, left big toe? Oh, uh, his left. The big toe. Yeah, yeah. But uh, what was that like? Man? Like, to have sat out all last year, you look good in yeah. the spring, and yeah. then to come back and know you're going to miss what, not 10 more games. Yeah, you know, I, I put in so much work in the offseason. I thought last year I had a really good training camp, and this year I had you know, my best since I've been in the league, I think. And uh, it was a setback, you know, and this, this game is all about handling adversity. And um, I've went through a lot, and I put a lot of work in. And I'm, you know, I'm glad to just be back with the team. And you know, anything, anything they need me to do, I'm ready to roll. Did you so. handle it well, or did you scream into a pillow? Right? Um, you know, I think the first week after you go on IR, it's tough. You know, and I didn't, I didn't think um, it was that serious. And I was like, oh, here we go again. You know, for the first week, and I, you know, my circle around me really did a good job. My teammates said, hey, like, just keep working, and like, it's gonna, it's gonna all show up at the end. So, yeah. Shane, what, presuming you do get activated and you're in uniform Sunday yeah. maybe playing maybe you know yeah what will your emotions be? Um, it's, it's hard, man. It's, it's, it's been a hard uh, couple of years, you know, and I think I'm a ball player. I love football and, you know, doing anything I can to get on that field. And, you know, being on the field is the best feeling in the world. Like, I'm a, I'm a football player. When I'm out there, I'm in my element. So when you uh, get taken away from the game, you realize how important it is to you. And uh, I'm ready to, ready to get back out there for sure. Less for the uh, opposing players to grab onto. Was that, yeah, I don't got the I don't got the ponytail anymore. <laughs> no, less less uh, less locks. So it's uh, it's different, but I, it feels weird in uh, my helmet. It doesn't get all caught in my jersey anymore and stuff. So it's nice. I haven't had. I don't think I've had short hair since my freshman year of college. So it's different. Yeah. I remember last year with your knee, like it was one of those deals for Judge and. Maybe he was lying right to our faces, but he was like, "Oh, you know, it's who knows, you know, he could yeah. come back." Did yeah. you? Was that one? Because I know with the toe, you're like, "I didn't know at first. Was yeah. The knee thing, you not know at first, or did um, you know? I knew something was wrong, but I thought that I'd be able to tough it out and kind of just, yeah. you know, make it through, make it through the season last year because I felt like I, I still had the ability to play at like a high level, and uh, you know, I just, I just wanted to obviously go out there and help the team, and I didn't, I didn't, I wanted to play through whatever was happening so that. Um, I could just help the team get in a good spot. So. You had a torn patella tendon, didn't you? Uh, partial, yeah. Partial. Oh, so that's yeah. why you thought you could play through yeah. it. Yeah. And it, it, was, wasn't, it wasn't a full tear, so I was like, you know, um, just how much I could, you know, deal with that. It had to so. be brutal, though, to try to play. Yeah, it was tough. Yeah, yeah it was, almost impossible. Yeah, it was tough, yeah. How much uh, yeah. good weight did you put on? You said you are Yeah, um, I fluctuate, but uh, I'm sitting right around 310. I haven't been 310 since... Uh, Probably my junior year of college, so it's good. I mean, all this time I've had like I've tried four different diet plans. I've just been experimenting with stuff. Oh, wow. I'm like a weight room junkie. I got like a whole weight room, and I got oh, I read all these different books about you know the like diets and stuff. And uh, I think I found a really good one now. It's called the Vertical Diet. It's by an ex bodybuilder, Stan Efferding. Shout out to him. <laughs> what is it? Entail? Um, it's uh, Pizza? it's just like a lot of whole foods. I drink like a gallon of whole milk a day, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good though. I, naturally, I feel like I'm a really like I'm a skinny guy. Like my junior year of high school, I was 190, and then I showed up to Oregon at 300 pounds. Like, yeah, it's crazy. Really? Yeah, yeah. What does a gallon of whole milk a day do for your <laughs> gastrointestinal integrity? I, I don't worry. I'm not. A, I'm not a scientist, but <laughs> it works for me. Okay. You know, I, lo I love milk. All the guys give me a hard time too because I'm always drinking whole milk. Like you're a yeah. psycho. <laughs> you have a weight room in your house here, or uh, no, in, in Arizona? Yeah. Arizona yeah. yeah. Do you drink the milk like just straight up a glass of milk? Yep. Like, yep. How many glasses is that a day, though? Or is I probably it out of the I have like two glass two glasses of milk, uh, like those little pints. I drink like probably three of those every meal. So, you get a good endorsement there, you know. Whole milk like milk, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like beef, it's what's for dinner. It's like milk, it's what's for dinner. Yeah, the mustache. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah.